Hello everyone, my name is Rusa and today we're going to talk about Baldur's Gate 3 multiplayer fixes and how to uh, how to invite players to a game that you already started. So yeah, welcome. One of the, the most common issues are the disconnects and also frame issues. This can be done by one simple solution. The game when you open up Baldur's Gate in uh, one of the one of the most common issues are when you play multiplayer you get disconnects and uh, frame issues. This can be fixed. It do okay, sadly it doesn't help everyone, but a huge majority it will help. The game will launch by default through Vulcan, but uh, you can switch to di Direct X Eleven. Uh, Vulcan. Uh, should be later better at the perfor performing part, but for now, Direct X 11 will do way better. So I would uh, recommend to launch the game with Direct X 11. This works also for solo games. Um, you can always uh, try these two options if your game will run smoother. But at least for the multiplayer part, uh, try to launch the game in Direct X 11, and this goes for everyone in your party. So if you're playing with three friends, all four of you should launch the game in Direct X 11. If uh, you guys launch them in a, a half, uh, like two of you goes Vulcan, two of you go Direct X 11. I think there can be a mismatch. I would recommend all of you go Direct 11. And let's see if that helps. Also, what can help is your switching host. Like bad, um, like bad connection can be really terrible. So try to pick someone else with a decent internet. So if you want to play with friends, but uh, you have already a nice save going and you really want to share your experience with your friends, you, you can actually let them play with you. You don't have to start from the beginning, but nothing wrong to do that. Play together. But if you want to continue what you al already have started, you can press ESC and you can see session. So click here. And here we can see all the characters. So when you, when you, when you invite them to play with you, you can do it through Steam. You can, uh, they will pop up here. Um, here you can see see them as well. I have no friends at the moment, but still. Um, here you can uh, switch places but between the, the different characters. When you when you have uh, changed the settings, open invites, direct connections. Um, you can uh, press accept. Now you can click invite friends. And you can see your Steam's uh, friend friend list, and you can uh, click invite. And uh, when they accept the invitation, um, you can uh, assign through clicking these arrows who uh, which friend should play which character. Um, if you don't have uh, any characters, they can't join your team. So if you only have uh, your main character, Queen Bob. Um, you might uh, just have one friend that you can assign Lazel or which character you have with you. But uh, you can't assign the characters that you don't have. But uh, you have to also click settings. We can uh, switch from closed, uh, open to invites, open to friends only, or that anyone can join. Open it to invites. So this will mean I can invite invite them to my play uh, to my game. And uh, direct connections. Here are also the code. I will accept. You can also let uh, friends to be the host. What's yours and uh, the same save as as yours? You just find the same file in the in the in the. Your, in your Baldur's Gate 3 folder, you should see it on the screen right now. And uh, 
that's the code where you could go and find it. And uh, you need to put it together, Vindrar. Oh no, make a zip file out of it. And then you send it to your friend and it will unpack it to the correct folder. And uh, then he can be the host with the same same file. Uh, other, th other things that you should avoid during uh, um, multiplayer, don't save during cinematics for, for this time. You can read on the Steam forums that uh, they're doing uh, some hotfixes soon, but if you do save during a <laughs> cinematic, then things can go to the shitter, so don't do that. And uh, also in the multiplayer, avoid listening to into a conversation in co-op that has ended. But well, that can also mean issues. I can put the Steam link to the forum down below in the in the description. And also, if the host saves directly after combat in multiplayer, the game may crash. Save with caution in multiplayer. And um, also, <laughs> in my own opinion, save often. So if you crash half of the times, you uh, you, uh, you still will have a good save to go back to, and the save won't be ages away. And also, it, this video was made just a few days after release, so. I fully understand they're having issues when there is a huge amount of uh, people trying to play the multiplayer. So I hope you guys will enjoy these uh, um, tips and tricks with multiplayer issues and uh, hopefully it will uh, get fixed and you will have a good time. And I will end this video with a meme. This is uh, from uh, the live stream on Twitch earlier today or yesterday. But yeah, enjoy and uh, let me know down below what we should uh, make a guide over next. Thank you. Now we enter. <laughs> What's happened? <laughs> what happened to our face? Oh yeah, um, now we couldn't push him off the cliff. Uh, I, I like that. Uh